We know that uh, our medical specialist, Dr. Carl, always happy to weigh in, and this is certainly one we want to talk to him about. So Dr. Carl there with me via Skype. Really interesting numbers in this U.S. study, Dr. Carl. What struck you most about the findings? Well, I think uh, what's so interesting here is we, we had heard before the, of this link between sleeping pills and early death. But what this study did was it took a larger number of people that they observed and they broke it down, as you uh, did earlier, by dose. So even people who take few sleeping pills, according to the study, are still increasing their risk of early death. That's what really stood out for me. Even those who take less than 18 sleeping pills a year, the risk is nearly 4%. Of, uh, of, you know, hastening death. That's right. So you might think, well, perhaps there's something different about people who take sleeping pills and maybe their risk is just higher in general. These researchers tried to take that into account and they tried to, when they were doing the comparison groups, match people who had similar risk factors for various diseases in both the sleeping pill group and the control group, and they still found these really large uh, numbers. Hmm. Now, so they, wanted to, so they wanted to eliminate all the possible variables there, and they still ended up with these numbers. So then help us understand in what ways might sleeping pills shorten life? Well, sure. So, and we should just hasten to, uh, to add that um, this is an observational study, so it's hard to know you know, if whether the pills are causing the death, but it's just uh, an association. But in terms of what could be happening, well, we know that people who take sleeping pills may sometimes have residual drowsiness, sleepiness, dizziness the next day. And that may increase their risk of accidents, whether it's car accidents or falls. So that's one way. We know that sleeping pills can depress the respiratory system. So your drive to breathe may be reduced. If you already have something like sleep apnea, this could possibly make it worse. And there's a possibility as well that there may be an increase in depression in people who take sleeping pills, and that can lead to, to a variety of problems, including potentially suicide. So listening to you, if I take sleeping pills, I'm thinking, wow, I need to explore this further with my doctor. What do people need to ask? Well, if you're already on sleeping pills, it's, uh, it never hurts to explore other options. And there are some very uh, effective ways of helping you to sleep better before you turn to the pharmaceuticals. So it's something that we call sleep hygiene. What is sleep hygiene? Sleep hygiene is just a, a set of behavioral approaches or strategies to better your sleep. And we have a few examples to show you. Number one, um, if you keep a consistent sleep routine, go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time every day, regardless of whether it's a weekday or weekend. Avoid caffeine in the evening before you go to sleep. And similarly, you don't want to be stimulated. So avoid um, stimulating activities like watching TV or electronics and also strenuous activities before you go to bed. Dr. Carl, thank you very much. Some practical tips to uh, perhaps avoid popping those pills before you go to bed. Appreciate it. Thank you.